More than a quarter of a million students who were attending colleges here in Puerto Rico found they couldn't go back to school after the hurricane. But instead of putting their schooling on pause, many were welcomed at colleges on the mainland, including CUNY schools, who offered displaced Puerto Rican students in-state tuition. Erna Baldomillo has more. Monica Martinez-Raga was vacationing in New York when the hurricane hit. She watched the images helplessly from a friend's apartment. It was just completely heartbreaking and really frustrating for me not to know what, how my family was for a whole week. She also found herself stranded in New York with just her carry-on luggage. I couldn't go back for multiple reasons. The hurricane had destroyed part of the airport. Also, my parents could not host me back home because the resources were quite limited. There was no food, there was no water, no electricity, and there was so much uncertainty. With no money, she had to work two jobs until she was able to afford an apartment. Then she decided to head back to school when she heard about CUNY's program to help students from Puerto Rico. And I saw that CUNY was giving tuition break to um, people in, in Puerto Rico for students. And that was what motivated me to get back on track, um, simply because I had this opportunity to go to an excellent school. Monica would pay only the in-state tuition rates, saving thousands of dollars. She's now studying economics at City College of New York. According to the New York governor's office, there are an estimated 200 students enrolled at CUNY under this agreement, including Gabriel Munoz, who lived through the horror in Puerto Rico. It got so loud, my ears would pop so much. It was, uh, the, the, the noise was very scary. And we weren't expecting uh, the, the kind of, of destruction it would bring. When the sun came out the next day, they saw the devastation. His family spent weeks without power or limited power and other basic needs of living. Uh, waiting in line for water. We didn't know if the water was okay. The neighbors taught us how to purify the water with uh, uh, Clorox. After helping his family get back on their feet, Gabriel decided it was time to focus on school, and he knew he had to leave Puerto Rico to do so, so he headed to New York. He's now at Queens College, majoring in biology. He enrolled back in January and admits it has been difficult. While the students from Puerto Rico are saving thousands in tuition, many still have to pay for room and board, and we all know New York City can be quite expensive. And lonely. Do you miss Puerto Rico? Yes, I do. I really do. I miss my family. But both students agree that so far, it's been worth it. And for Monica, she believes she has found her purpose in life. I definitely feel the responsibility to become a professional study and be able to go back with even more resources because that's what Puerto Rico needs people. And she did just that, return to the island. Monica is one of more than two dozen students from CCNY who went to Puerto Rico this summer as part of Governor Cuomo's initiative. My first day, we finished a roof. We finished a second house in three days. And now this last day, we started a new one and we're almost halfway. So it's like we are getting things done. This was also Monica's first time back since last year. It was just great to see my family again. I hadn't seen my dad in a whole year. I'm really happy to be back, but at the same time, it's, I'm a little bit heartbroken just seeing how things have changed. Everything looks a little bit different. I'm so lucky to be here with an organized project. I feel a lot of hope in the people. There's hope in our country and there's hope that in the end of the day, we have to, you know, count on, on, on us, on helping hands. I'm Ernabel DeMillo for CUNY TV.